Hey Fancy Beauties and Bowls, welcome back to the channel. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that last video. <sighs> Today, we are going to work from Julia's Place again. And we're doing the mini palette. This is the violets. So... All the pretty, pretty purples that you want to have. And I'm going to somehow incorporate, use <laughs> this uh, liquid eyeshadow. So I'm thinking to do a halo situation. So as you can see, I've already got my eyebrows done. So we're just going to go ahead and move right into the next step, which is to get some definition here in the eyebrow section. So today, I really went in and I really, really manicured my eyebrows, in my opinion, to perfection. Um... I use the scissors to cut all those extra hairs that are up there at the top because my brows are a little tall, <laughs> if you want to use that as a uh, reference. So I had to trim them down once I took the glue and, you know, got them to stand up. And then I just went in and, you know, kind of cut those down to size so they would cooperate so right now i'm just going to go in with my la pro concealer and this is in color fawn so i'm just going to go under there and just uh, clean that area up and i did do a looky see to take a look and see if that uh lighting in that last video was okay because I have this ring light right in front of me right so I don't know if it's that light that's kind of um, obscuring my view uh, where the way I want to see things so I'm not gonna adjust the position of my lights because I want you guys to be able to get all of the lighting that you need so you can see and then I'll just make adjustments on my end so I can make sure that I can give you this quality mm -hmm. like that just like that all right so now I have that all cleaned up underneath I'm just gonna go ahead and move right into that lid area and with that I'm going to go in with the prep it prime prep eye prime uh, and it's an eye primer from Julia's place and put that on the rest of the eye space I want to go in and put a second coat on just to make sure my eyeshadow is going to pop the way I need it to. And just to ensure that I have the coverage I need. Since I have hooded eyes, I don't want any creasing whatsoever. So for this first part, um, I'm going to start 
with this matte shade right here. And we're just gonna start defining that uh, the outer and the inner area of the eye lid. So for that, I'm just gonna take this nice tapered uh, brush and get that started. All right, we're gonna try this uh, flat around it instead just to see because I'm it's not picking up enough color uh, for me to get that payoff that I'm looking for you can spend the time and blend and and build it up but I kind of want to just go ahead and get in and get it done so for this part I'm just really focusing in on placing the color and then I'll go back and uh, blend it out now this side is my challenging side because when I close this I can't really see over here so this side is always where I have to baby Now, the next color I think I'm gonna go with is this one here, that twilight color. And I'm just gonna take this size. It's rounded as well. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up that and put it right in here so this next step as you can see I'm just going to take the flat edge and just move these kind of looks are super easy to accomplish so the next thing I want to do is kind of take some time and blend this Even though it's easy, you still want to have it nice and blended. Start the show. It's really pretty iridescent color. So I'm just gonna put this right in. I'm just gonna take this really flat brush and use this for that bottom. I was gonna put some um, base down there, but uh -uh. we're not doing that today. Because my eyes are already super sensitive right now. Matter of fact, hold on. All right, Fancy Beauties and Bows, I'm back. So I figured out a way to get the base underneath. So what I did is I just applied the base to the end of this little sponge and went underneath like this and took the other end and just blended it. Just to make sure. Now we can go in with the um, color. And I'm gonna use a thicker. All right, so I'm just gonna use this one. This one, one that's close to my skin tone. I don't want to let that sit underneath, so I just 
on the wet my sponge. Just want to lay that first concealer color down so we can have a nice even base to our skin. We're going to work on our, our contour. So I'm using black opal. I'm gonna take this brush and work that in. Next, we're going in with this one, and this is a much lighter, much, much lighter concealer. And I'm just gonna put that right there, there. That's really pretty. All right, so for, I normally don't do foundation, you guys. Um, here lately, I have not been doing foundation. Oh. All right, I want to change up my routine. So I'm gonna take this setting this under eye okay let's let that sit there all right this one is l'oreal infallible so i'm just going to use this I'm, I'm almost done with this. Try to get that last little bit out. So I think I'm going to go with this one. Stay in that purple family. This is Julia's Place, of course, uh, the Saharan Blush, Volume 2. That's what this palette is. So, there we go with that. I need a tear duct, so we're going to go with this one.
nice and soft just what just what it needed all right guys um lippy 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 lip all right so how about we just go nude and then oh no Come play with y'all today. Let's go to my organization, okay? Mm. 